This is Detroit Alley Cat and welcome to my backyard. I wanted to do something kind of candid and special today, but also very awkward for me. So let's just get into it. Without further ado, let's get spooky. So if you haven't noticed, I have been off of YouTube. So if you haven't noticed, I've been off of YouTube. It's been a very hard past month for me. And I was just gonna like slide back into it. Oh my God, it's so bad out here with the mosquitoes. Sorry. But I thought, you know what? All the other YouTubers are very personal on their channels and I wanted to be really personal with you guys. I don't know how good the quality is gonna be because I'm outside with a brand new microphone and let's face it, it's always kind of like a guessing game for me. But at this point, I feel like I have all the equipment I need. It's just trying to get it to work correctly. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't really know where to start and how to start, but I'm just going to start. I have never really introduced myself to you guys, and I, I kind of tell you about my personal life, but I'm very, like, I kind of keep, I kind of keep it vague. So, um, I, I guess I'll just start. My name is Allie, and my number one job is that I own a circus company. And here in Michigan, we live in Michigan, it finally opened back up. The lockdown has stopped, and people are hiring circus performers like crazy, which is really good for me, but it's been really hard because now I want to make YouTube videos. There are tons of mosquitoes out here, so if you see me jump, it's because of mosquito. There are tons of like things I want to do, and I'm just trying to keep my life like balanced. I have over a hundred employees and things are just crazy. But YouTube is something that I'm really passionate about and I've always wanted to do. So I'm gonna make this work, even though I feel like it's gonna be really hard. And one of the reasons why it's gonna be really hard is because I have a disease. It's called Bechet's disease and it's like an autoimmune disorder. I guess the thing is, is that it's mostly related to something called lupus. Lupus is like a more well-known autoimmune disorder. And then on top of having this autoimmune disorder, I also have a blood clotting disease. And the only reason I'm telling you about this is because I believe, I think it was about three weeks from this day, I almost died. Actually, I'm pretty sure if I wouldn't have relied on my good sense that something was wrong, that I would not be here talking to you. So I'm gonna tell you about it a little bit. Um, Bechet's disease is a really nasty autoimmune disorder where like you get sores all over your body, all down your throat. Oh my God, I can't believe how many mosquitoes are out here. And, um, it's just really nasty. And then combined with my blood clotting disorder, it is like double the danger. So, oh, oh, this is gonna be such a bad video. So I was bleeding internally and I knew this. So I went to the hospital and they immediately sent me to a hospital in a, um, they transferred me to a hospital in an ambulance and I had to stay there for four days. And during this four days, I have to take blood thinners all the time for the rest of my life. I like asked them, I was like, hey, I need my blood thinner. And they had me on extremely strong narcotics, but uh, they kept telling me, no, you're bleeding internally, so we don't want you to be on your blood thinner. And I knew that it was a bad decision, but I, I'm not a doctor, so I went with what they said. And when I came home, I knew something was wrong because my arm was turning red and it was hurting and it felt like there was a balloon around my arm 
pen so I took a pen mark and I marked off where this spot was and I told my family that I needed to go back to the hospital which was really frustrating to me because I didn't want to go back to the hospital but I did and sure enough they found a DVT which is deep vein thrombosis which is a blood clot and it was right here which is six inches away from my heart so when the hospital that I was transferred to refused to give me blood thinners they pretty much like they almost killed me. So I was transferred to another hospital and I spent like a week and a half of my life in the hospital. And what's really crazy is like, when I found out that I had this blood clot, I freaked out really, really bad. And they had to sedate me because I, I was scared I was gonna die. And I got on the phone with my husband and I was like, I'm gonna die from a blood clot because this is my ninth blood clot that I've had. Which you really don't hear a lot of people say that like i'm on number nine <laughs> and uh, i said i'm gonna die from a blood clot and he's like you are one day but not today and i spent that time in the hospital and the doctor came into my room now i have a picture of this blood clot in my body because when they do imaging they give that to you so i have a picture of this and uh the doctor came in the room and he's like yeah so we checked your um body and you you don't have a blood clot in your system anymore like you can go and he's like and i don't know how a blood clot would dissolve in 48 hours so um i've never experienced a miracle in my life but i gotta tell you that I'm pretty sure that I did experience a miracle and it's changed me. It's made me a little more crazy because <laughs> I don't feel like I have like an unlimited amount of time on this planet anymore and so I'm, I'm a little bit more mouthy I guess but in a good way. Like if somebody says something to me that I don't agree with I tell them the absolute truth even if it's like the hardest thing ever. And, um, I don't know how good this microphone is, but somebody just drove by with a really loud speaker. Uh, so I don't, I don't know how to explain how this affected me because I'm not really sure of how it affected me, to be honest with you. I just know that I'm not the same person that I was and I'm really excited about the future because for the first time in my life I see it as a blessing and not a curse and I'm here and I'm going to stay here and I just wanted to tell you what happened because I feel like it was really important that you know because it was kind of a spiritual thing for me. And I, I had like this huge plan to like explain to you like what do you do when you almost die but I think this is good enough and maybe one day I'll go further into it but I'm back. I'm coming back to YouTube. I hope you're excited for me. I hope this helped me get through that first like jump off a cliff and start it up again because it's kind of like hard sometimes when you start YouTube. I hope that the sound stuff made sounds good because uh, it's the first time using this microphone but yeah so here I am thank you for watching if you stuck with me this long please stick around I'm not gonna tell you to subscribe and do all that stuff because I feel like this was such a weird video <laughs> but um, definitely stick around and watch because I got a bunch of stuff that I'm planning on doing and wish me luck because I got my work cut out for me well anyway Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay safe and stay spooky. Bye.